part two. In part two, we are going to create a Quartus project, synthesize the top module, then connect the design to the FPGA pins and program the DE1's SOC board. Please remember that this project can be also implemented on other Intel FPGA boards. You should be able to customize the project depending on your board number of switches, LEDs or 7 segment display. In the end, on my DE1 SOC board I will be able to do the following. Let's say that A has the decimal value of 7 and B has a decimal value of 1. I should be able to see a 1000 on the LEDs, which is the value 8, and also the value 8 on the 7 segment display. Let's start part 2 of this tutorial with a challenge. For being able to successfully do this challenge, you first need to watch FPJ project number 1 or project number 2 where you learn how to implement a basic FPJ project. The challenge sounds like this. You need to create a new Quartus project where you instantiate a HEX 7 segment decoder as a top module. After this, you connect the input ports with the switches. Next, you assign the output pins and synthesize. In the end, you need to program the FPGA and test your project. Let's see how our 7 segment display works on the board. Here we have 4 input switches that represent values between 0 and 15. These values are coded in binary. Let's see what happens when we press bit 1. Here we have a 3, 7, 15, 14, a 10, and a 9. You should play with this and see how it works on your board also. What's interesting is that this decoder can be used in many many examples and we are going to use it during our course to display different values on the 7 segment displays. Let's create now a new FPGA project that uses multiple Verilog files. First we need to open Quartus. We start then the new project wizard. We click next. We change the working directory. Desktop. Send. Select folder. We write here project, next, empty project, next. Now we browse for the Verilog files. We select only the RTL files, next. Now we select our FPGA. This is the one I have on the DE1 SOC. Next, we don't change here anything. Here we have a small overview for our settings and now we click finish. Now we click on files, select the top module, right click and set as top level entity. Now we compile the design to see if everything works ok with our RTL code. This process could last more or less depending on your computer configuration. Ok, so the synthesis process finished successfully. Click here, next on Netlist Viewers, and see how our RTL looks like. So our top module has an instance of adder nbit which is called add0 and an instance of hex7 segment which is called dec0. If you click on this plus you will see how the adder verilog code was mapped to an already existing adder inside the FPGA. Because the adder is 4 bits wide it added an extra 0 
to our MSB. We have 3 bits and another bit of 0 creates a 4-bit bus. Now if we look at the decoder we can see that it has here a 4-bit input, here a 16-bit output and then some OR gates that are creating logic functions to correctly extract the output hex. Let's assign the pins now. We now close this and then go to assignments, pin planner. Here we see that we need to connect the A and B buses that have 3 bits each, next the output sum that goes to the LEDs and the 7 bit bus that goes to the 7 segment displays. If you have the same FPGA board as I do, then in the end your pins should look like this. You can pause the video and complete them by yourself, or you can download the complete project from ovisign.com. Either way, you can leave a like or a subscribe for me doing all this effort for you. Next we close this, and we compile the design again. If you look here, we have some warnings, but for this simple project this doesn't matter. We will fix these warnings in future projects. Now we open the programmer, press auto detect, select this because this is my FPGA, maybe you need to select something else here, and then we click yes for the override. This is for the hardware processor inside the FPGA and this is the FPGA fabric. Next we click it, change file, select project.sof, click here and then start. Your FPGA should be programmed by now. Let's now test on the development board how our project behaves. In the beginning all the switches are in the off position so we have a 0 for operand B and a 0 for operand A. Now the sum is 1 because the value of A is 1 and the value of B is 0. Now the sum is 3 as expected and now 7. When we set bit 1 of operand B, the sum will become 8. Also, you can see the binary value of the adder on the 4 LEDs. When we add 5 with 7, we get a C, which is a 12. If we max out both inputs, we will get an E, which is the value of 14. Please test other values on the board until you are satisfied with how it works. Enjoy! Congratulations! You finished the binary adder to 7 segment display FPGA project. Here is a challenge for you. Change the value to N to 4, add another 7 segment decoder called OHEX1, redo the simulations and synthesis for a 4 bit adder. Enjoy! If you like this tutorial and you are interested in an easy path for learning Verilog for FPGA or ASIC design and verification, I gladly recommend you my course Verilog HDL Fundamentals for Digital Design and Verification. You can find the link in the video description. For more tutorials and support, you can join our Facebook community. Your strong Verilog foundation is only one click away.